Hi, this is Mike Nelmi, Lean Sigma Black Belt. I would like to talk today's theme, the three Lean Sigma characteristics that we must always be aware of during any Lean Sigma activities. Since I can't explain all three in three minutes, I'll talk about each one separately in three episodes. The first characteristic is customer-oriented. All Lean Sigma activities have to start from the customer's voice and the customer point of view. The term VOC is used often, which stands for voice of customer. It is used like, what is a VOC in this process? We have the tools to correct or analyze this VOC in Lean Sigma. One of them is the VOC matrix diagram. This is an example of that tool. As you can see, we put VOCs on the light blue column. Better, faster, and cheaper are written on column A. Since most VOCs belong to those three categories, please refer to them. Then rate the importance of each VOC from 1 to 5. 5 is the highest in the next column. Put your company's department names or other factors that are associated with each VOC in the row in yellow-green. Lastly, put the degree of relationship between each VOC and each relevant department by 1 to 9 in the yellow section. Then result is the numbers in the total weighted row. In this example, Cafe Kitchen has the highest number. The idea of vital few is very important in Lean Sigma. Instead of dealing with many factors, we should focus on only the few factors that have the most impact on the objective. This example shows that Cafe Kitchen is the most important in order to deal with the VOCs. Using the VOC concept in product development or process designing is very common in the manufacturing area. How much improvement do you think we can make in other areas if we apply the VOC concept? One example is this. The first step at the time of process analysis is the value added and non-value added analysis. Take a look at them one by one for each step of the target process and check if all movement of people, obje objectives, and information will contribute to creating value for the customers, which is added, value added or not, which is non-value added. Try these two questions in each step. Do customers want to pay for this operation? Or does this operation produce something that customers want? Eliminate as many operations as possible in which the answer is no. This analysis is very simple, but the effect is tremendous. Here is a common experience with this analysis. When I, when I ask for a non-value added operation, why do you need to this operation? The answer that often comes back is, I took over so and so from the person before. <laughs> Try this value added and non value added analysis on your operations or your people's operations. You'll find many surprising things. I'm done with this topic for today. The next episode will explain the second Lean Six Sigma, Sigma characteristics Kaizen more than improvement. Thank you for viewing. Oh, by the way, you can download the VOC matrix diagram template at my blog site, econoshift.com, for free. Please give me your feedback uh, after using the template. Thanks.